Welcome back, Mushroom Man Toad here, and as the video title suggests, today we are going to be doing 1.13 item based randomization. Now, before we get started with the tutorial, I just want to show you what we're going to be working on creating today. So, this command block here is just going to clone over this rock here so I can mine it to demonstrate. Now, what this chain of command blocks that we're about to work through does is whenever you mine stone, there's a chance that you find some kind of ore inside of it. So, you know, normally you're going to get cobblestone, but you see I've got a couple of uh, nuggets there coming out. Uh, there we go. We just found some redstone dust in that one. And just keep working our way around the rock here, getting some more cobblestone. There we go. Here we have found, you can do custom items with this as well. So this is the copper ingot, and I'll be showing that off at the end, how you would work with something like that. And just finish off the uh, finish off the rock here. There we got a diamond out of there. Diamonds are super, super rare to find, but you can find them in this. And that is what we are going to be working through in this video. So if you learned something, don't forget to leave a like on the video and do even consider subscribing if you're not already for more Minecrafty content every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. All right, so now let's work through these command blocks. Now I know since uh, I don't want to just leave this one hanging here, this one will just give me saturation. And the reason I have that is just so while I'm mining, I don't have to worry about eating. You don't need that for the command concept. This is the part we're going to be focused on. So as with these, there'll be a black box on the screen right now with the command in it. So you don't have to pay super close attention to this black bar because that gets really, really hard to read when the commands are this long. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to execute as every cobblestone. And then we're going to run an execute command. We're going to restore the result of the command, so whatever we're going to run here, it's going to store the result to the score of the entity we've selected, that would be the cobblestone, and it's going to store that to its score of rotation. And the command we're going to use is data get entity at s rotation zero, so that just means figure out which way the cobblestone is rotated, and then store it to a scoreboard value called rotation. So you'll see if I just go scoreboard objectives set display sidebar rotation really quick here you can see if i just shut off the rest of everything else that happens here we throw a cobblestone on the ground you'll see a rotation score that appears on the side and that is purely randomized at the time of dropping the item so now we set that rotation score our next command is going to do tag every item that is a cobblestone with a rotation of 180 or greater so that's about half the item. No, that is half the uh, cobblestones that drop. And you're just going to add this tag, dropped. Now, dropped is going to be used for some other things, but the first thing we're going to use drop for is executing as every one that has the tag dropped. We're going to just give it an item tag. So this is actually stored to the items NBT. Now it'll be player dropped set to one. We can then read that as an NBT in the inventory. So here, this has the NBT tagged player dropped. So if I drop this with the player dropped, you'll see it's not actually going to kill it off like it would with just a raw cobblestone that would normally turn into an ore. So that's what that's good for. It makes sure you can't just, you know, oh, I got some cobblestone while mining it. Well, I'll just drop that again and get some ore out of it. No, you don't want that to be exploitable. This next command is just a really, really long target selector. <laughs> We're going to tag every cobblestone that does not yet have a tag called cobblestone and doesn't have the tag of dropped, meaning that it didn't have a rotation greater than 180, and it doesn't have the tag player dropped one, so that means the player didn't drop it, then we'll add the tag cobblestone. And what cobblestone is going to do is say, okay, this is a real cobblestone that he just got from mining a block of stone, and therefore has a chance of turning into an ore. And that is all the complicated stuff out of the way. The rest of this is super, super simple. So, these are all going to be basically the same from this point on. What they are, execute at every cobblestone, so we know this is a cobblestone that should be returning an ore, that has a rotation score between these numbers, and this is how you do the randomization. You have 360 degrees to work with, so if you take, say, a set of those, for in this case, 0 to 10, if it has a score 0 to 10, we're going to summon an item that is an iron ingot. Then we just do something similar here with 11 through 25 and just work our way all the way up to that 180 which we established earlier means it's just a cobblestone don't return an ore. So you see we do it here with redstone from 11 to 25. Here we do it 26 to 27 with diamonds. Here we've got gold from 28 to 35. Here we've got gold nuggets from 36 to 100 so those are a lot more common. Here we've got iron nuggets from 101 to 155. And finally, we'll get on to how you can do the custom items. And this is basically the same thing, right? You've got your rotation from 156 to 179, so this will go all the way to the end. 
and it will summon the item and the ID is an iron ingot, which is what we use for our custom item. And we just give it some custom tags. So in this case, I just enchanted it with sharpness, level one, and gave it the display name copper ingot so that it looks like this, which is, you know, it's, it's a nice thing. And you could, of course, take that to any extreme you want. You know, you could have whole right clickable items returning when you mine stone or whatever, you know, take it to whatever extreme you will. And this final command block is just going to kill every item with the tag of cobblestone. So every cobblestone that should return an ore, well, you don't want that in the world anymore because you now have an ore for it, so just kill it off. That's how you do item-based randomization. So I hope you enjoyed and learned something, hopefully a bit of both in there. If you did, again, make sure you leave a like and do consider subscribing if you're not already. Again, thank you for watching. This has been Mushroom Man Toad, and I'll see you in the next one.